Alright, so this is Jillian and Heather, and we're going to be showing you a newsletter making Web 2.0 tool called Letterpop. And as you can see, it's up here at www.letterpop.com. And to get started, normally you'd have to log in, but we've already logged in. So you just start, cl start by clicking Create here on the tool thing. And as you can see, they provide you with all kinds of pre-made templates. And you can also see that they fall into all different kinds of categories. We're going to be today creating a Harlem Renaissance newspaper section. Um, so we're going to go with something kind of basic. And I happen to like this template right here because it allows you to have several different stories on your front page. Some of them are designed more for just one story. Um, so let's start by giving our, they say newsletter, I say newspaper, our newsletter newspaper a title. Um, we're going to call it the Harlem Renaissance Times. And you can just, you can make changes to that. Um, you can change the font. I don't really like that font, though. Let's change the font again. Okay. And you can also make things bigger or smaller. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Um, you can also give it a secondary subtitle. Where this is going to be the music section. So we're going to call this Music Notes. Um, as you can see then, if when you want to edit things, you just click on where it says your text here and everything comes up. It just so happens we have already written some text. Um, here's a story about Duke Ellington. And all we're going to do is edit and copy and then come here. You have to highlight this text, which is a little bit strange, one of the funny quirks of that, and paste it on there. And then you can um, also edit the size so we make it a little bigger and also Heather happened to write this article you can see you can um, oh, by Erdley. <laughs> by Heather Erdley. Um, you can edit right in the text editor I like editing outside of it just because it is a little bit easier to um, to work with and you're not working in this document. And you can also add images where there are images in the template. So here we have an image of Duke Ellington that we can add in here. You can also you add your own images just by hitting on hitting browse. It just so happens here we have a picture of the Cotton Club. And you can import it like that. And then again, just click and drag. Pretty easy, right? Oh, oh yes. You can also log into Flickr and add your own images from Flickr if you wanted to actually take pictures and then upload them. The only thing is is that you're limited to 25 photos, so you have to delete more, some to bring them back. Um, if Once you're done with your first page, if you want to have a multiple page newsletter or newspaper, you just click Add Page and you can see you get a lot of different options that come up, including copying the same page. Um, once you're done, you have some options. If you're still working on it, oh, you can also edit it. So we're going to call this the Harlem Renaissance Times. They give it a lot of really cheesy names, kind of like iMovie. Um, and you can do several things. You can preview it, email it, publish it. You can print it out. Um, we're going to publish it. And you can see that they come up here, your published newsletters. And you can just click on it, and it's here. And either you people can comment on it, or they can print it. Um, and I believe you can go in and um, look at other people's when you have a chance. So basically, so from here though, your kids can go in, print it out, and turn it into you, and you can see their work. So pretty much, um, that is Letterpop for you. Have fun.